Hi. With this movie we will show you, how to update database records. For this video, we created a page, containing a repeat region, listing our products. Also we added a form, containing two input fields, which will be used, to update the selected record, and a submit button. Note, that the form method is set to, post. First, we should add a hidden field, that will hold, the selected record ID. Click anywhere inside your form. Open the insert menu. And select, form, hidden. Let's change its default name. We call the hidden field, product ID. The next step is to add a detail region, around the form. We select the div container, which wraps our form. Then, we click the repeating element, of the same database query, that we use, to list the products on our page. Open the bind to menu. And select div, data, detail. Then click the bind button. Now, select the first field in the form. Click the binding, that should populate this field, when we select a specific record. Open the bind to menu and select, input data value. And then, click the bind button. Do the same, for the rest of the fields in your form. When you are done binding, the data to your input fields, select the hidden field, that we added earlier. And select the binding, that returns your record ID. Then, bind it as a value, for the hidden field. We are done binding the data, to our form inputs. Now, we will set up the button, that will populate the data, of the selected record, into the form. We added a simple, empty, text link, next to our product names in the repeat region. Click it. Then, in the behaviors panel, click the add new behavior button. And under DMX zone, select control HTML5 data bindings. The action, should be set to, select active records. Then, select your repeat region, from the drop down, and select the, current selection option, in the set to menu. Click the OK button, when you are done. We are done setting up the information, that will be displayed, into the form, when a record is selected. Now, let's add a new server action. We call it, Product Update. Select Globals. And link the page, that contains your form, to this server action. Select your update form, from the form menu. And click the, Import from Form button. Now, you can see your form inputs under the post variables list. Right click, steps. And add a database connection. Select your connection, using the little folder button. And then, right click the connection step. And add, database update. Let's set up the update options. Select, and add the database table, that you want to update. Then, select the table columns, that you are going to update, and add them to the columns list. Select the first column in the list. And click the server data bindings button in order to set up its value. Under Globals, Post, select the input, that will be used to update, the selected column value. Then, click the Select button. Do the same for the rest of the columns, added to this list. Select the Filters tab, when you are done. Select the ID column, of your database table. And add it, as a filter. Then, click the Server Data Bindings button, 
in order to assign a value to this filter. And under Globals, Post, select your hidden field. Then, click the Select button. And click the OK button, when you are done. Save your action file. Now, let's create a Server Action Executor. Select Server Connect Action Executors, in the HTML5 Data Bindings panel. And click the Add New button. Add a name for this executor. Select to run it on, form submit. Then, select your update action, from the drop-down. Bind the executor, to your update form. And set the method to, post. Now, Open the Options tab and open the Behaviors. Select the On Success event and under DMX Zone, select Control DMX Zone Server Connect Action Executor. Add the selected behavior. Set Action to Run. And then, select to run the executor, that lists your database records on the page. Then, click the OK button. And click OK to apply this behavior. And then click OK. And we are done. Save your page, and let's preview the results. Select any record, clicking the Edit button. Then edit the info, that you need to update and click the update button. The data is now inserted into the database, and you can see the results immediately.